Welcome to week 11 of Tutorial Tuesdays. Or, well, Tutorial Wednesdays, I guess, this week. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, this time we're going to find your lost phone. This tutorial was done on stock Android 10, and there may be differences on other versions of Android. Anyway, when you lose your phone, it can range from a simple, oh, it's just stuck between the couch cushions and I don't know where it is, all the way to, oh no, I left my phone in that Uber. The good news is that Google offers a basic way to manage security on your phone, remotely even, and it's called Find My Device. And it's available through its own website, but it's also offered as an app, as this may very well be the most convenient method when you're outside with friends and your best access online is on a friend's phone. So in this scenario, you've got to use your friend's phone to download the Find My Device app, which we'll do right now. Then when we start it up, it'll show a login screen with your friend's Google accounts already available to use. But if this isn't your own device and you just want to use this just the one time, you'll want to sign in as a guest. That way your own Google login won't be kept when you're done with it. Starting from top left, you'll see some phone looking icons which represent the devices you've signed into your Google account on, including your friend's device right now. Now, I think in order of which they were registered in, they're the newest on the left, and so you can tap through them to find the device that you've lost. In my case, the first device showing is the one I'm gonna pretend that I've lost. Assuming your lost phone still has a SIM card with active data, or has a Wi-Fi connection, Google should be able to almost immediately pinpoint your device in the map showing below the phone selection strip. In the bottom right corner of the map, when you tap the icon here, there are also convenient buttons for opening this location in the actual Google Maps app, or to even calculate navigation directions to the location of your phone. Below the map, there's a small summary of your phone's status showing an image of the phone, maybe, if it's on record, as well as the model of the phone, when it was last checked by Find My Device, its battery level, and how it's connected to the internet. In the upper right of this panel, there's a small information icon, which if you tap on it, provides more information, such as the IMEI number, when the device was first registered with Google and the last day it was seen. Below the information icon is a refresh icon, which you can tap to manually request the app to update what it knows about your lost phone. Underneath the phone summary, there are a choice of three actions you can ask Google to take. The first one is play sound. This forces your lost phone to play its ringtone at maximum volume, regardless of set volume level or even a do not disturb mode. And there you can hear it in the background playing its ringtone. This is great for those lost under the couch cushion situations. However, if someone has your phone, they can cancel this ringtone simply by tapping on the screen, but then you will be notified of this by a sound stop message too. The second one is secure device. This simply allows you to send your device back to its lock screen, in case you suspect it may be in an unlocked state. It's also useful for setting a message on the lock screen, along with your phone number and specific authorization for the phone to call the number you've left, and only that number, from its locked state. So, let's see, I'll type in a message here. and now it's secured. Now that said, if the person who has your phone happens to know your unlock code or pattern, then this won't keep them out. If you suspect that this is the case and find my device will notify you of it if it's been successfully unlocked, then there's always the nuclear option. If you're afraid that you cannot get your device back and or that its security has been compromised, you still have a third option which is the erase device option. This is only for those times where you'd rather lose everything on your phone than let someone else freely access it. If most of your phone usage is cloud-based, as much of Google's apps are, then you probably won't lose much, and this will be an easier choice to make.
Since this is a significant and irreversible action, Google then asks you to reconfirm your login. You'll then get one last confirmation prompt, asking if you wish to format or erase your device remotely. If you confirm this last time, your device will be wiped completely without any warning or prompt to the person with your phone. What's even better is that after the phone is wiped, it cannot simply be set up with anyone else's credentials. Android will block the setup process on the first boot, unless the phone's previous PIN code or Google account can be entered correctly first. A minor thing still to cover in Find My Device is the menu in the upper right corner. Here you can refresh the entire interface, which includes the device list, in case any new devices have been added that aren't showing. You can also rename any of the devices that are attached to your account. The only thing left to explain here is the sign out button beside the menu. And this is good to do before you finally give your friend's phone back to them. And that's it. Now you'll be able to effectively find your lost phone and confidently secure it. As always, feel free to leave any comments, questions I didn't answer here, any suggestions or requests for new tutorials. It's all welcome. See you next Tuesday or Wednesday. <laughs>